So welcome back to episode four of our BBC feature series. In our last episode, we took you out to our cow barn right here in Monroe to show you some progress on framing and a stormwater drainage insulation system. Make sure to check that out. Uh, this episode though, we're gonna show you a little bit about the concrete pour that we just accomplished. We're gonna take you out to the finished concrete slab uh, out at the barn, as well as a lot of siding that's gone on it, some custom breezeway doors uh, and roofing material that's up on the barn. So a lot has happened with that in terms of progress. So let's go see that progress. And welcome back to the cow barn. So since the last time you were up here, we have some concrete poured. Well, a lot of concrete poured. We've got doors on the side of the barn. We've got doors to go on the front of the barn. Uh, the siding is in and uh, there's a lot of roofing going on. So let's take a walk through it and show you what's going on. So in our last episode, we talked about getting ready for the concrete pour for this particular barn. This barn is a cow barn. They're gonna have a lot of heavy equipment moving through this breezeway. So what you see here is a heavily reinforced concrete slab. Um, a typical slab for the vast majority of our clients involves a well-supported subgrade and a four inch slab with a light broom finish. In the case of this particular barn, again with that heavy equipment, we've gone to more of about an eight inch slab, uh, fully reinforced with uh, uh, rebar, fiber mesh, and a little bit of wire mesh as well. So the next thing we'll show you are the drainage grates and system that we have installed in this barn. Again, it's a cow barn and cows are messy. So what we have is actually a series of three catch basins with steel grates, again, for that heavy equipment and for the cows that all run, that are connected together and run down the hill to a drainage basin where they run into. One other thing to notice about these grates and this slab specifically, like all of our slabs, is the slope or the grade of the slab. So in a garage or in your home, if you have a house with a slab on grade, that slab is as close to flat as you can get it. However, in a barn, you need to have runoff uh, for a number of reasons. So in this particular barn, all of our stalls are gonna slope away towards the outside, towards the gravel under our shed roofs, just as we would in a horse barn. In addition, in this particular barn, these grates that we're mentioning here, our slab actually at each of the sections slopes into the center. So if you have water or any other fluid from anywhere else in the barn, it's, if it's in the stalls, it's gonna run to the outside. And if it's in the breezeway, it'll roll to these drains. This allows our client to use a number of uh, uh, hose positions to rinse out the breezeway and maintain a clean barn. So let's talk about the breezeway doors that you see featured on the outside of this particular barn. Normally on one of our horse barns or any number of our models, they come stock with the stall packages that include our Dutch doors. It's a two-part door, your horse can stick his head out and say hi while you're eating dinner. Um, the important part or the important difference to this particular barn is that our client was looking to have something that would allow them to have multiple stalls open at the same time at the full width. So this is actually a piece of hardware that they found and uh, we approved to test with them. Again, it's our first time doing something like it, but we have to say it's a pretty interesting setup. What it allows you to do is to take one of our standard, or in this case, 22 of our standard breezeway doors and mount them to the outside of your barn. Now these doors are on a bi-sliding track to where they can slide past one another. So at any time they could open this stall or any of the others and much like a closet door, they can slide right past each other with the ease of just a couple of fingers. The hardware here is very, very nice. Um, one of the other things you'll notice about these doors that you may not see on all of our barns is they're actually made from what we call aquifer or our ranch wood siding. What that means is these doors actually come from the factory, uh, from our factory here in Monroe, pre-treated and ready to be installed right away. So you don't have to worry about coming back to try to paint the little details and make sure that everything is matching with the rest of your barn. They're ready to go from the day they arrive on site. 